What's going on YouTube? Mark Vidal here once again. I hope you all are having a lovely, lovely day. So today we did some pretty good fishing. We had an afternoon drift and we caught three reds. Joe Valencia and I, we caught three reds on, on soft plastic lures. It was a pretty awesome drift. So on today's video, I'm going to show you all how I clean my red fish, right? We're going to go ahead and fillet it. I use um, these knives right here. This is a Danko knife set. It comes with it comes with a 9 inch, a 7 inch, and a 5 inch. So this would be your 9 inch knife. This would be your five inch and this would be your seven inch knife right here. So basically I like to start off with my five inch. I like to scrape off um, the meat towards the end right here and then do my cuts everywhere. And then I just kind of um, work my way down um, cutting towards the bone slowly so I can get as much meat off this fish as possible. So I start off with my five inch Danko. And then once I do that, once I get the, the, the shell with the meat off, then I'll, I'll come in with my 7 inch. Sometimes I'll use my 9 inch if the fish are, are bigger than than, um, than this, obviously. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fillet some fish. I hope you enjoyed the video for today. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell on the bottom so you can stay up to date for all of our upcoming videos. Visit our website, lcd956baitandtackle.com, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, at Los Canaleros del 956, Los Canaleros del 956. So let's go ahead and get started, baby. All right, everybody, before you start cleaning your fish, it's very important that you sharpen your knives. All knives are good, but if your knives aren't sharp, they're no good. They're useless, right? And the secret of cleaning fish and stuff like that, if you want a good clean cut, if you want a good fillet, always have your knife sharp because that's going to play a big role in easily cleaning your fish, right? You want a sharp knife. So I'm going to start off with my 5-inch Danko, like I uh, mentioned earlier. So I start from here, from the top. I just do a little cut because there's two sides. You see, you have this, you have the spine right here that separates both sides of the meat. So we're going to start, always be careful where you're cutting, right? Always be careful where you're cutting. And um, for those of y'all that want to say anything about the way I'm cutting, save your comments, right? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start from the top. As you saw, I started from the top and just go slowly because you want to get as much meat off as possible. So start from the top. And you want to kind of tilt your blade downwards towards the, the spine, towards the bone, like that you scrape off as much meat as possible. You work your way down all the way to the tail. Once you get to the tail, go, go um, side by side on the bone and just, there you go. And once you get to this part, we're going to go ahead and come back to it right now. So we're going to come to the, to the hole right here, the ano or whatever you want to call it. Right, and you're just gonna cut up, and then you're gonna cut down right here towards this bottom fin, all right? So you did that cut, you started this cut right here. Now I'm not trying to go fast because I wanna show y'all how to take your time and how to get as much meat off of it as possible, right? So once you get here, you wanna come over here, you wanna come over here and you wanna do your cut over here. And you wanna cut all the way up here, you see? You want to make sure you get it all the way to the top right here so once you did you do this you do this cut all the way to the tail you do this right here to the center and then you, you do this cut right here all the way up and then you're gonna kind of slightly pick it up with your thumb and you're gonna slowly scrape off the meat because you want to get as much meat as possible slowly and then you want to come in here same thing remember we're taking our time because we're trying to get as much meat as of, of it as possible you know, makes it a little funner because you take your time and you know, you get a nice clean cut. So once you get to the center, there's a center, there's a center in the spine right here. Once you get to that center right here, then you're going to poke all the way through towards midway or about three quarters of the way of the fish. You're going to poke all the way through. Remember, you want to stay along the bone. So you're going to poke all the way through and you see how my knife came out here. And when you're, when you're slicing down, stay with the bone tilt it slightly down towards the bone you see so now you got this right here and then you can come up here and just do that so once you get to like this part right here in the inside there's a nice um, tough bone here so sometimes you can't slice it with your knife I don't like to slice it with my knife anyway so you see once you did this separation right here you come up here and that's where that tough bone is so what I like to do I like to flip the fish just like that and if you want to come on this side so you can show them what I'm doing 
you see I flip the fish and then I hold it down and then I with with one hand I get the I grab the toe with a good grip and I push down with my other hand and I kind of just push down on this with this hand I push down and I pull away I want you to see that look at that beautiful cut you see you're gonna have this beautiful cut right here we're gonna put it aside because we're gonna come back to it remember just like algebra what you do to one side you do to the other right so we're gonna go ahead and come back over here same thing that we did over here so I don't know this comes to this side so you can show them on this side so you're gonna come behind these dorsal fins these fins right here cut down and then cut all the way to the top remember what you do to one side you do to the other and you're gonna go ahead and start the separation of the meat and your bone right all the way down I just go a little bit I don't go too much because I want to be able to see and scrape as I go so once you go here remember you're gonna pass all the way to the side remember be careful how you cut a lot of people might say that um, you know it's not safe the way I'm cutting but practice makes perfect everybody so just slowly 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 take it down I'm saying slowly because I don't want you to poke yourself I don't want you to scrape yourself or cut yourself and then blame your fellow youtuber for that right so we're gonna go ahead and and do the same thing we're gonna pick it up with our thumb we're just gonna scrape the bone you want to scrape the bone because if you scrape the meat you're gonna leave meat on your bone and we don't want that okay so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna we're gonna cut along the bone a little bit up see how I did this a little differently because I want to show you that there's more more ways you can do it remember what we did we're gonna come this way we're gonna go ahead and push down and we're gonna pull your spine away you're just gonna get you that nice 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 piece of meat with um shell all right so now right here you have the throats a lot of people throw them away but the throat is a very very delicious part of the fish so you're gonna go in between this fin and this fin but closer to this fin you're just gonna slice down and then same thing here but be careful guys i don't want you to cut yourself and then blame me for it so once you go here you're gonna carefully do the same thing and that's your throat look at all that meat so basically you're gonna want to bread this and you're gonna throw it in the deep fryer all right this is the way that your this is the way that your bone and your fish is going to be right all right so we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off a little bit as you can see i still have two fish to do it so we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off a little bit so we can get a very 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 clean we can get a very clean and a nice looking fillet so you want to wash off all this blood now how how long were these reds uh, two of them were about 25, the other so one was about, about 20, 23. 23 and 25? So these, these redfish are in between 23 and 25 inches. Um, where I'm trying to get to is, it's going to be a very clean fillet. As the redfish gets a lot bigger, once it starts hitting the past 25s, maybe um, 27 uh, 28 to your oversized redfish here in texas is 28 inches is, is over 28 inches considered oversized once you get to that length of redfish you're going to see it's going to have some thick blood lines that i recommend you cut out but fortunately these are not bad all this fish is good quality all this meat is good quality stuff very very white meat as you can see and then look we even have the throat right there right so i'm going to show you all we're going to fillet we're gonna de-shell, I'm gonna call it de-shell, call it whatever you want. But we're gonna de-shell the fish because we're gonna leave nothing but filet. This is where my seven inch comes in handy. Now seven inch, this is how I know it's gonna work properly because seven inch blade covers all of my fish, right? So if you wanna show them close up right here what I'm gonna do. So right here towards the back, I like to push it down with my fingertips as put as much pressure as I can and then slowly slowly cut down but not all the way down because you're gonna have to tilt once you cut down a little bit you're gonna want to tilt up 
because you're going to take off the shell and you want to take off as much meat as possible so after i do this little cut after i put pressure down and i just get a little insert a little bit then i'm going to grab it like this with my thumb because once i once i start right here i'm going to move my thumb i'm going to move my thumb left to right and i'm going to pull the skin right the shell the skin so i lay my my um, blade is flat on the fish in between the skin and the meat or in between the shell and the meat remember what i told you you're just gonna you're just going to move your thumb left and right and there it is check that out all right so now you have this piece right here this would be your ribs and this would be all your boneless meat. You're going to tell where your ribs are. You're going to see this bone. You're going to feel it. This is where your ribs, where your rib meat separates from your boneless fillet. So a lot of people like to do it a lot of ways. I'm going to go ahead and go down as, at an angle to try to get more fillet. You want to go down as an angle and you're going to scrape along the rib cage. You're going to feel the rib cage bone and you're going to scrape um, along it. So... Let me find the the boneless part and there we go you see now you have nothing but boneless meat right here boneless meat the bigger redfish are gonna have a big thick bloodline once you get into that um size of redfish and you do this process you're just gonna cut out the bloodline but since this is a nice tender fish you don't have to cut out nothing because it's a uh, it's very tender very good meat so now you have your rib you have your rib you have your fillet remember this can be done a lot better i'm trying to demonstrate the best that i can for you all i am not a professional so save those comments as well i'm not a professional i'm just a fisherman i love to fish i love to teach people that do not know um, how to do stuff like this i like to teach them and i'm just teaching you all a quick easy way so y'all can um fillet your fish right so remember like algebra what you do to one side you do the other but remember you're going to push down with your fingertips as hard as you can put a lot of pressure then you're going to get your fillet knife and you're going to lay it flat in between the shell and the meat and then you're going to do a little start off cut like this and remember once you get to here you're going to grab this right here you're going to grab the tip of your shell if you have a nail or not it doesn't matter dig your fingertip in there if you have a nail even better right so we're going to do the same thing we're going to grab on and as you can see i'm not really pushing i'm not really cutting I, i'm i'm moving the the fillet left to right and there you go you see throw it in the water we're going to take off the ribs You're gonna take off the ribs you're gonna you're just gonna cut until you find the bone and you're gonna cut along the bone there you go so you got yourself two fillets two ribs and a throat so i'm gonna clean it off so i can show you i'm gonna clean it off so i can show you the ending of this masterpiece process right All right, so you have your you have your throat, you have your ribs, and you have your boneless fillet. So these fillets have no bone whatsoever. You want to clean off your ribs a little bit, so you don't say that I that I don't do it right. Just clean it off. Take off all that extra tendon or whatever organy stuff it is, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and there you go. All you got to do is you're going to you're, you're going to roll it in your favorite seafood breading mix this and this and then you're going to fry it this as well you can cook it as however you want you can bake it you can um fry it whatever you want to do so there it is that's that we got two more to go everybody look at these beautiful reds we have two more to go I hope you enjoyed the video for today of how to clean the redfish and it's pretty much any fish that's similar in, in texture to the redfish you can fillet it the same way at least I believe so um, like I said I hope that worked I hope that that uh, worked for some of y'all y'all get to try it at home have some fun with it 
Um, remember, keep your knives sharp. And remember, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, and uh, yeah, comment away. Let us know what you think, everybody. Fish on.